Welcome everyone, today we'll have a new guide and this over here is what you don't want to see. So what you got to see is notice over here I'm actually homing at 100%. This is because as you know I have failed multiple times on this particular item that my Artesis energy is 100%. So in this video we'll be talking about why it is not great to get this to 100% and what are the ways to avoid this. We'll be looking at periods of extreme luckiness and also periods of extreme unluckiness. And as you can see behind me, this is my personal video video after getting my new weapon to plus 6 with the chosen set, I decide to home this weapon and as you can see behind me, I'm homing this weapon from plus 6 to plus 10 right away and I actually did not use any rate ups. At the time I wasn't thinking what I was doing and I was just attempting because I was feeling extremely lucky as I was succeeding. So basically I went from plus 6 to plus 10 without any homing materials and basically after 4 taps I was extremely lucky. There's also other cases when I was upgrading for my other pieces when I was going for 1700 and those period of time seems to be very lucky. And in this video, I want to share with you guys what are some of my research and also some of the notes we have taken from the community about the extreme lucky and unlucky period. So we have some notes about this particular phenomenon with pseudo random, and we'll try to explain this a little bit. We also have lots of tips to find a luckier period versus not lucky period, and how should you avoid those. So we have some notes from the community, and this one is pretty extreme. He went from plus six to plus fourteen in one tap without failing. You can see all the success over here. And and the chance of this is like 0.05%. There's also other comments about extremely unlucky period, which I have experienced as that as well. So if you guys remember my past video, I've failed over nine times with radar materials, and those were extremely unlucky to get my weapon plus 14 to plus 15. So there are two periods of time, and I really want to explore this with you guys. So this video is dedicated into homing probabilities and also homing statistics. So some of those will be about you know a working progress of a avoiding the unlucky period, some of those will be finding the lucky period, and some of those are statistically tested with simulations, how to spend less gold, and what do we do with our T-Sense energy, do we play the 100% game, and what you should be aware of. So there's a lot of tips and also notes in this video. Now this video will be broken down into two parts. The first part I'll try to explain why do we look for the lucky period and what are some of you know, the thoughts and also community speculations and how come sometimes we get super lucky. So the times I got plus 6 to plus 10 in one go, this was less than 0.24% probability and the chance of getting plus 6 to plus 14 in one go is about 0.054%. So we'll talk about this on the first part. The second part, I'll give you guys some useful tips and also some, you know, some advice to avoid those unlucky period. How should you identify those? And also some advice to look for that lucky period. And most importantly, we'll talk about the adhesive energy and also what are the tips with homing materials and how should you prepare this mentally? Because it's very important, homing is a gambling psychological game and you should be aware of this as you start to home. Now coming over to our notes, if you want the written notes and also the links over here and also the writings over here, make sure you see the description below. So the first thing I want to get you guys to know is it's very important to understand those concepts and also those theories are community speculations and those are never can be revealed because the game company doesn't reveal the numbers and also the stats, right? So most people believe a system called the pseudo random. If you search pseudo random on Google, this is basically a period of time where a random number is generated and this can roll from 1 to 100. Let's say if 1 to 90 is unlucky and 90 1 to 100 is lucky. So we're trying to find periods of luckiness of the account we have and also we're trying to avoid the period of unlucky. So this video will be dedicated into trying to you know speculate and also try to test which period we're really lucky and also which period we're really unlucky as you're going to see on the second part. Now coming from the example at the start of the video, during the period of luckiness when you home for items, you seem to have this one tap of multiple success. So you can see from this Reddit post, which is a very extreme case, this is called I only reply or at work. So basically this is a weapon that is plus 14 with the with the tier 3 weapon. And this is the weapon after 1370, so this is quite hard to get. And you can see our friend here actually succeeded from plus 6 to plus 12 in one go. And on the next tab he shows, he actually 
I think he bought or he got more of the destruction stones and he keep upgrading plus 13 and also plus 14 in one go so he literally went from plus 6 to plus 14 and people were like oh my god you're so lucky right so seeing those I also have my own videos which I showed you guys at the start so this is me trying to use similar logic and also similar concept and here we have a plus 6 weapon and as you can see I didn't use any rate ups I just went purely to try to get lucky during this certain time of the day and this is Seems to be working. Of course, guys, this is not scientifically proving. Many of us can say, hey, you just got lucky, we can't repeat that. So here on the second part, we'll look into how to find those lucky period and also how to avoid the unlucky period. I think this is a bigger part because if you fail multiple times, you might want to avoid homing during this period because you're likely gonna get pity. And when you get pity, if you see my other video, I actually got so many fails on this one it was so painful i failed so many times and i actually started to buy things from the market and it was it was pretty crazy i'll show you guys this video too so over here you can see that i failed so many times my artisan's energy is 97 percent never played it artisan's energy game it is not worth it to get to 100 percent and you should avoid this period of homing because it will cost you so much more gold and this also comes to the second part of the period we want to avoid. So this is a period of higher failing rate during homing. And you have seen in my video, basically I was trying to go plus 14 to plus 15 with my item level 1370. I was trying to get there back then. And I actually failed nine times using radar materials. Our friend Chalia also did a simulation for me. So this majestic homing attempt, it was so unlucky he decided to do a simulation for me. So to be as unlucky as me, you have to be 3.1 percent of the population of players during that time and we also have a lot, a lot of notes on the community about this concept of extremely unlucky our friend here was failing multiple times with 60 percent 63 percent 66 percent and also 69 percent so those rates are really high right how come we're so unlucky during some of the times and we'll be exploring about this and you know it's quite important to avoid those times because the multiple times you fail you might not want to be homing during this time now before we come over to the second part, I do recommend you guys having a look at the total number of homing fails. This could be quite useful or quite informative. So come over to the game, go to achievements, and what you want to do is you want to go to characters and you want to go to items. After going to items, you want to go to strategic fail. So let's have a look at this one. So strategic failure is over here. What you can see over here is I have failed 223 times with homing. And this is the actual achievement. I mean, pretty sad, right? But this is the amount of time it has taken me to get 1,400. And I have one alt account. You should be aware of those three factors. So I have one alt account that is tier three, but I only got this alt account to 1,310. So basically with the achievement, what you want to notice is you want to kind of look at how lucky and unlucky your account has been because I have a friend who is not 1,400 yet and he has failed over 240 times. So one of the reasons I'm saying this is you want to kind of keep in track of how you're homing and what are the time intervals and what are your homing methods. This, of course, also relates to the amount of radar materials you use, which we'll talk about very soon as well, because this deals with artisan's energy. So at least having a look at your achievement kind of shows you, you know, your success with your account. And just to be aware, guys, those are total number of failures. So if you have multiple odd characters, this will also give you a high number. Now for this part, what I want to do is I want to start with the statistically proven and also the good tips first and then we're going to the tips that we don't have the scientific proofs for that because it's very hard to prove for that so the first one I want to share with you guys is about is it worth it to play that artisan's energy game because if you get to 100% artisan's energy you will have 100% success now statistically we have done a lot of simulations so Chalia was actually helping me to test this out so this is basically us aiming for pity and whether we're using radar materials or we don't use radar materials because you guys know that if we use radar materials bonus radar materials this will give us a higher thesis energy if we fail but after quite a bit of testing it is actually not worth it to use you know, rate of material just to aim for 100% artesis energy. This was tested with multiple simulations. And after testing this, you're actually spending 10 to 30% more gold by doing this because the simulated, you know, simulations of homing 
So if you guys remember, we have a lot of calculations homing, and after testing this one, it is not worth it to play the 100% TCS Energy game. You get to this when you're unlucky. You don't aim to try to get this by using your retail materials. And basically, if you play the pity game, if you try to do this, you are actually spending more gold. What is recommended is that you want to be using your bonus retail materials earlier. So let's say if earlier in the stage I'm at 15%, I kind of want to try to get to, you know, plus 15% again with the bonus rate if I can. Or maybe I try to use all my retail materials at the very start. This is because the earlier you use them, the chance of reducing many times of fail is over there. And also the bonus rate is more impactful. And also this, you know, reduce the chance of having to fail multiple times. Because what's going to happen is if you have 15%, if you plus 15%, so basically you have 30% of success. And if you fail this once, the next time you'll be on 16%. Oh, actually, you'll be on 16.5% because you get the bonus rate. And if you fail again, next time you'll be on, so we're plus 1.5 each time. Next time you'll be on 18%. So notice that the base rate always increases. And by the, that time, if you plus the 15%, it is less impactful compared to the first time you're adding this. So this is why it is recommended to try to use rate up materials earlier stage when your base rate is very low. When your base rate is higher, the rate up materials has less impact. And this was tested. So instead of playing the artistic energy game, you should be using the bonus rate up materials earlier in the game. So just to show you guys what I mean by that, notice that my base rate is 10%. And over here, I'm actually checking if those are untradeable materials. So before I use them, I only use the untradeable ones. So you can see here, I'm trying to go from 10% to as high as 18% at the very start. I don't save those for later. So instead of playing the Artisan's Energy game, over here about plus 8.54% if I fail, I always try to aim for the highest rate at the early stage of homing. Later on, I might stop using this much materials. Later on, if I fail multiple times, I will actually use less of them. And luckily enough for this particular attempt, it actually worked on 18%. So sometimes it still doesn't work, but as you fail multiple times, your base rate will become much higher. Now, there is also a very important point I want to share with you guys at the start. I do think this is very important. It is try to have enough homing materials for multiple attempts and also to expect some of your failures. Now, if you do come over to the next few part of this particular notes, I have added some additional notes from previous videos. Those are the links of, of those videos. And what I do recommend is to know what is expected when you're doing tier three homing. And this works after 1370 as well. So between those levels, you can see how many attempts you are expected for all of your pieces of gears. Or if you just attempting once, this is how many attempts it's expected. So to go from, let's say seven to eight, you're expected to have two attempts per item. So having two attempts means you need to prepare double the amount of lip storms for one upgrade. So just preparing this is much, much more useful. And if you guys are not sure how to read this and how to use this, we do have the guide videos on this part as well. So make sure you use the links to check this out. So basically you want to prepare enough number to have an average number of success. I'll give you guys a small example. So basically, let's say if my weapon currently is plus 12, I'm trying to get a weapon to plus 13. And what I can do over here is I can come over to our notes and have a look at from plus 12 to plus 14. Each time it's expected that we try five times. So this means I need five times the lipstone that is required for this weapon to be upgraded. I believe at this moment, the weapon will cost me about 14 or 16 lipstones. So we multiply that by five. So I need about 70 lipstones and I have about 80 lipstones. So this is about preparing the materials mentally and also physically so that you have the expected number of success. Now, why is this so important and also so useful is that having some spare materials means that if we do fail, we have enough to try again, but we don't want to try too many times. So usually you want to prepare the enough for the expected number of attempts and using the data down there. And also it is human nature to want to try this multiple times. And we want to end the day with a success or end the day with a high ride, but this can be very psychologically costly simply because it's a gambling behavior that if we fail, we want to succeed. If we fail, we want to succeed. But if you don't prepare enough materials, you might be buying those on the market. And this can lead to rage spending and also even spending real money into the game because you really want to success. And what I usually do is I save enough materials for at least three to four attempts. And I mentally prepare that if I fail those many times, I'll just stop. 
And this also comes back to this particular point. If you fail three consecutive times, means you should have saved for three to four attempts, right? If you fail three to four times, then I won't have enough materials to to try again anyways. So I limit myself of not doing this multiple times and I avoid the unlucky period. But if I do get lucky during those attempts, I can succeed multiple times. So the biggest thing to remember as we come you know, to more homing tips, it's always that there is no rush for the next content. We will be one week earlier or one week later for the new content and also the new dungeons, but that is okay. Just be aware guys, if you get into the trap of trying to home and trying to succeed and not having enough materials, you can be psychologically affected. And this, I do think this is one of the bigger tips I want to give to you guys. The later tips we have over here are good, but having this mentally and physically preparing your materials, it's very important. So make sure if you're not sure about this, come to the notes over here. We also have a video to explain how to use this to prepare your materials. So you have enough materials to prepare to home your items to the successful level you wanted. Now coming over to the second part of the video, keep in mind guys, some of those tips and also advices are still work in progress. We cannot prove those statistically, but we have, I have asked a lot of friends and also you know people about this. This seems to be the case for most of us. And I have tested this myself personally as well, as you can see with some of my successes. So one of the first thing I want to share with you guys, and also my friend who have failed multiple times, you know, he actually pitied like six or 10 times already during 1370 and also going forward. So one thing we both agreed and we both identify with multiple accounts, with multiple characters, is that you want to avoid homing after the daily reset or weekly reset. I know it's tempting because you get a lot of resources, you do your chaos dungeons, you do your guardian raid, you do your dailies, you get a lot of dipstones, you get a lot of stones. You want to do homing. But what we realize is most of our biggest failures and bigger pity actually happens right after the daily reset or even after weekly reset. So this is for me personally and also for my friends, the period of extremely unluckiness. I've tried this multiple times and I have not gotten really lucky. I have been very unlucky after the reset. Most of my success, as you can see here with the plus 10 weapon and everything else, was on a different timing after the reset. And over here, I have identified for my account personally, it was about 7 to 10 hours before the daily reset that seems to be giving me better results. During those times, I seem to have, you know, a lot of successes, not only, you know, this one time, there's also other times I was having multiple successes of getting my items to plus 15, you know, back then, and also, you know, as I was buying, you know, rehab materials, sometimes I do fail. But notice that even after one fail, I keep trying. So I'll show you guys what happens after one fail. So this is me back then going for 1,370. So after one fail, I use whatever remaining materials I have. I keep attempting. And during those certain times of day, I seem to have a greater success. And for me personally, this is around seven to 10 hours before the daily reset. And I do think this is because less players are attempting to home at this time. And this might give me a higher window of luckiness. I am not sure how other players do do this. And what I'm thinking is we can actually have a survey. So what I'm actually thinking is we might make a community poll on this particular concept. We'll do a YouTube poll and we can vote to the timings of a homing and how many times we have failed to give us better numbers and also better stats of indications. What is the best time to home? I do think this is quite important. Now, the second major tip is about avoiding the unlucky period. I know it's quite easy to say, you know, it's just us being unlucky, but many of us have seen that we fail multiple times and over and over again to get really, really unlucky. So if you guys remember this one, I actually failed so many times and I just keep failing, I keep trying and use all my read ups. I actually saved two weeks for those read ups and I keep failing. I keep trying and I keep failing. So it's extremely painful. And we, my friends and I have come over to a conclusion. I do think this is quite helpful. So is that if you fail three consecutive times in a row, maybe during this time, you're really unlucky. You should not try to attempt more, more homing, maybe in the next five or 10 minutes at least. You should avoid this period. So this is a good indication that your account might not be very lucky during this time. I know guys, it's very tempting to keep trying until you hit a success, which we'll talk about the last part about the psychological and also preparing enough materials for a number of attempts. But just for at the moment, I do not advise to hold multiple times after failing three times in a row, because this can be a very unlucky period. 
Now on the opposite side, we have also witnessed a lot of lucky homing, right? You know, the one tap to plus 10, plus 14. And during this time, if you're getting multiple successes, so you're not getting three consecutive fails, but rather maybe you're getting two consecutive success, or maybe you're getting one success, one fail, then one more success. During those times, you seem to be having a higher luck. And for me at the time, I failed once at 15%. Then I tried again, I actually succeeded at 16.5%. Then I tried again and I've succeeded again. So during those times, if you have multiple success that's coming, you can try to home a little more times. So basically we're trying to avoid unluckiness and also try to catch the wave of luckiness. So during that time, if I fail three times in a row, I will stop. But if I keep succeeding, I'll try to keep homing because I will think my account is a little luckier. Now there's also one more tip I want to share with you guys, which seems a little useful, but this is not proven. So what is happening over here is if you see some of my replays during my homings, and what I noticed, this is actually me actually finding out this subconsciously. So you can see that instead of using the base rate, so right now the base rate is 11% because I failed once. So instead of just using the base rate, I'll use whatever homing materials I have. This doesn't give me the double rate because I don't have enough homing materials. I don't buy my homing materials, those rate ups. I only use the ones from the Mario Secret Shop or the untradeable ones I have. So I actually went from 11% to 16%. And this actually led to a success. I'm not saying this happens all the time, but this seems to be happen very often for me as well. So you can see that this is actually happening with some of my other rate ups. So sometimes I don't get to the double rate up, but I'll try to use whatever remaining of the rate up materials I have. And this seems to be giving me a higher chance of success. I mean, obviously I'm using rate up materials that gives me bonus rate, right? So what the logic is, when we have a base rate of 15%, instead of going, you know, just doing the 15%, maybe we can save just a tiny bit of rate materials to give us a slightly better rate than a base rate. So we don't want to stay on a base rate of 15%. Even getting to 16% or 17% will give us a higher chance. And this is can be a little superstitious, I know, because this might occur at a random coincidence. But the idea is you don't want to stay on a base rate. At least have a little bit of rate up materials with your each of attempt. But because this is not tested, this seems to be working for me. But you know, without enough data, I'm not sure about this. So I do mention about this and I do not think this is a must. This just happens because I have the spare materials at the time. Now I know guys, there's a lot of probabilities, there's a lot of you know myth and also rumors and also different tricks that cannot be scientifically proven here. So what I do recommend is take away from 0.6 and also 0.7. Those are guaranteed to help you with homing. As for 0.1 to 0.5, some of those cannot be proven, but it seems to be working for me and also my friends. But as we get more data and also more sample, maybe we can decide how it works. Maybe there's a hidden algorithm, maybe there's a hidden trick to have players you know, less chance of homing after reset. We don't know, but we want to find out, right? So do be able in mind, the top five tips are the work in progress. And what I want to make this video is, I don't want to brag about luckiness. I want to help us to save materials. I want to help us to, you know, everyone to avoid the unlucky period first. Once we can avoid the unlucky period, then we can try to get lucky, right? Because no one wants to hit pity. It feels terrible to hit pity. And it feels like my weeks of hard work is wasted. And if you do want to look at this video, is I was really sad during that time. I was actually really sad for a whole day after this. So I want to help you guys a little bit and hopefully you find this video helpful. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.